how to kill weeds, but not harm the Asiatic jasmine that's underneath. One gallon of water in a pump up sprayer and one ounce of 41% glyphosate concentrate. Shake it up once you add the glyphosate. Set your nozzle to a fan spray pattern. And for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna do one circular area right here. And don't do this in the spring when the jasmine has new growth. Wait until it matures for a couple of months. Today is Friday, July 14th. So the new growth on that jasmine is hardened up and it will not be harmed by the one ounce per gallon mixture of glyphosate. So I'll be back in a week on July 21st. One week later, Friday, July 21st, and the weeds on top are dead. Jasmine underneath is unharmed. And the reason the jasmine is unharmed is because it has a shiny waxy finish on the leaves. And that finish makes it resistant to the weak glyphosate solution that I used. One ounce of glyphosate per gallon. And that area that I sprayed is just a small part of the entire area that needs to be sprayed because all of that is Asiatic jasmine covered in weeds. So today, Friday the 21st, I'm gonna spray the rest of this area. One week later, Friday, July 28th, and the weeds I sprayed last week, last Friday, you can see them turning yellow. One week since that spraying, two weeks since this spraying right here in the front, that circle. So those weeds are completely dead. These are on the way out. I'll wait a few more weeks, wait till all this completely dies away, and we can see the unharmed jasmine underneath. Seven weeks later, Friday, September 8th, and the weeds are dead, at least the majority of the weeds. Some of the more hardy weeds are still alive, but that blanket of weeds, those are all dead and the jasmine as you can see is unharmed and here's a closer view of the jasmine you can see it's unharmed in fact this is actually coming out with new growth and this is the kind of growth that you do not want to spray this is what you see primarily in the spring or if you cut your jasmine back and it comes out with new growth you don't want to spray it when it has new growth like that the lighter leaves you want to wait till those leaves grow a little bit and mature and become dark and then you can safely spray them with a one ounce of glyphosate 41 percent glyphosate concentrate in my case per gallon of water and here are some of the remainders from the weeds that we sprayed two months ago killed the weeds but did not harm the jasmine. And when I mentioned earlier that most of the weeds were killed, this is the type of weed that formed that blanket that we saw across the jasmine. This is a pretty delicate weed and these were killed, but there were some weeds that were not killed. These are dollar weeds and they were not killed by that one ounce solution. This is either poison ivy or poison oak. And you can see the delicate weeds around it that are dead, but this was not harmed. So what I'm gonna do in the case of the dollar weeds and this poison ivy or oak, whatever it is, I'm gonna use that same one ounce per gallon solution and spray directly onto those plants. It may take two or three more times, but eventually that one ounce solution will kill these plants. And the last thing, this is the glyphosate that I used. It is a generic brand and you can see it is 41% glyphosate isopropylamine salt. I think is how you pronounce that, 41%. Regular Roundup, I'm sure some people are gonna ask the question, can you use that? Same active ingredient, glyphosate isopropylamine salt, only 2%. So same active ingredient, 2%, 41%. Will this work? Probably, but you're gonna have to use more of this product per gallon as opposed to the one ounce per gallon of the 41% concentrate. So I don't know the ratio to tell you for this. I do know that one ounce of 41% per gallon of water will work. And I'll put a link to this gallon jug down below in the description. It's $43 per gallon. That's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.